hello guys it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the photoshop template making process in photoshop let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon going to the file and taking new options i'll take an artboard which is 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel and the resolution is 300 that's fine and rgb color mode 8 bit and transparent background if you want you can take the white or black background i'm taking white and the square pixel and the color profile which is the rgb and the, the srgb hit the create button you'll get an artboard over there and then we'll go to the layer options and going to the gradient options from here we'll take the first one and we'll pick up color from the color picker in this case i'll take this type of color that's fine and hit ok the other pole will take the blue one over there 45 degree in this process and make it reverse or like zero degree that's good and then hit ok if you want you can change up your color by using over there so if you want you can use this sort of color yeah that's fine and hit ok and ok from here that's good and now going to the text tool writing the text i'm using here the font which is the nagasaki which is free font i'll provide you the font download link in my video description and choose from here N A G A this one and I'll write down here are you double I N G running that's good making it a little bit of bigger great now time to layer management I'm deleting this portion that is the BG or background color giving the name like BG are running making this one convert to smart object press ctrl j it will make another copy so taking it the downside of that right press and then perspective now i'll make the perspective like that so that's fine now i'll make it mask like that layer mask and g from the keyboard use gradient for matching with the background that's fine and after that we'll use the photo of the stock photo i downloaded from the clean png and provide you the download link over there and place this one make this one a little bit smaller okay and this running that means upper side press ctrl t press the shift and hold it and make this one a little bit bigger that's good and now we'll make shadow giving the name img img for image and press here press ctrl j before that you have to make this one rasterize the layer and then press ctrl j and i'll turn off the first one and select this one by pressing ctrl it will select options and option delete or con alter delete it will make the black color now turning off the upper side press ctrl t the downside right press and then the distort option i'll make the distortion like that and like that after that i'll make the blur this shadow when the filter blur and the gaussian blur make the blur value sort of like that which is 9 or 10 and hit ok that's fine our base line is ready and now taking another layer which is like that press the plus sign you'll get the blank layer over there or you can take the solid color like that which is black solid color and then bring the filter and then filter gallery a message will pop up convert to smart object and then this texture will select the scaling value 175 and the leaf value that is the 11 and hit ok now going to the blending options and make this one into the overlay 
or you can make this one screen or whichever do you like i would suggest you to use this one into the screen mode and then opacity should be down like that okay the amazing texture will place over there now time to add some text and everything so this one logo if you want you can use that you can put down your logo the corner of the texture or corner of the artboard and then the date i'm using here the poppins font i'm pasting over there so this one actually the third january it will be upper side of the layer press ctrl t it will help you out to recognize and to move from that the size of the logo and the date will be same that's good and then we'll make copy so taking the logo and the third january making this group provide the name the upside or up text so you be up that's fine and then press ctrl or command a make it middle of the artboard that's good and now the downside downside should be like that so i'm taking the text from here and ctrl v text like that if you want you can provide the gap between two letters from here suppose 200 that's good and i'm using here the poppins font the normal one time to set the alignment press ctrl a and make it in the middle that's good and now all the details of the event you can put down so i'm taking here and copy and paste over there press ctrl t and providing in this portion that's good so you can provide more masking like this so select here g from the keyboard and mask a little bit of like that because of the font readability that's fine this one and this one and the upper side text should be in a same layer so these three things and it should be underneath of the image so making that group in an image img that's good and this one is the text this one so main design it could be I'm giving the name over there so all the things i'll make upside img this one i mg that's good image and design should be a little bit of bigger and a little bit of upper side or you can make like that if you want you can change up the color if you want you can change the blue color from here so you can make the same like me hit the ok and ok our design is ready and make it save into your directory over there suppose giving the name run poster and saving it in a psd now time to make it mock-up we downloaded a mock-up from prepick and unzip this one after that here we got a psd opening up in photoshop fine and the layer menu we're getting here a smart object double press that smart object and go to the file and go to the place embedded options from here we'll insert this photo over there before that so here right press and rasterize and make it save and it will save in this directory now time to edit the background so going to the background over there expand the folder and you can put color like that or you are you can use that color so you should turn off this uh, like uh, text so you have to turn it off like the this you can delete this one here in a bracket delete it and just deleting this one and continue and group and contents as well so your mock-up is ready now you can post this one in your portfolio or you can put it 
in your social media account hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you have any sort of questions query or request please do comment on my video comment section and in the next video is america signing out stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers and bye bye